Hi, this is Jim Stevens with this week's Two Minute Drill. When you're on a sales call, there are going to be, through the exchange of information, those points where your client, your prospect, the person you're interviewing, sends you signals that make you wonder, what are they thinking? It may be the way they word something. It may be that furrowed brow, that in inquisitive look on their face. Most amateur salespeople blow past that, and they use the hope and pray method of closing. They ignore those signs, and instead of dealing with the issue up front, they cross their fingers, and they hope that the deal goes through. If you're tired of being an amateur, you need to have the courage. It only takes two seconds, maybe even one second. When you see that nonverbal signal that says to you something's not right, asking the question, can we talk about that? Making the statement, I noticed your response, and I might be reading your body language wrong, but it seems like you might be uncomfortable with that. Can we talk about this? Asking that question is going to help clear out the smoke and mirrors so you can find out why the person is responding in the way they're responding. Now, the other side of this equation is you've got to be aware of their responses. And in order to do that, you've got to be a third person in the sales call. You can't be thinking about, oh, what should I do next? What's my next move? What next question should I ask? So got to come to the sales call prepared, ready, knowing what questions you're going to ask, what process you're going to go through, and then be that third person aware of every verbal and nonverbal cue your client sends you and ask the question, can we talk about that?